Scotty trying to cut one off this tee, looking anxiously at it. Needs a kick. Oh, that's going to be blocked out over there. Clears the trees nicely. Uh, just didn't quite get the jump. That's about 40 or 50 yards short. And yeah, this is that Zoro Zoysia, 10 yards closer to be on the prism. Yeah, it's much much tighter on that prism. It you know, sure is. They use a different mower for that, and it's down really, really tight. It's harder to kind of catch those, clip them as nicely as what Bones just said off that stuff. A miss from Scotty and a make from Xander. That two-shot lead is gone on the first hole. And there's the first half of that equation. There's going to be ebbs and flows at the top of this leaderboard, although you do have a two-shot lead. That's not the start that Scotty was looking for. He started this event multiple years in a row now. Playing very aggressively here. Did not get the kick. That was a really awkward bounce. It like hit on the knitting of the, the fringe there and came all the way backwards. Smiley's calling for long putts to drop today. Similar from Keegan Bradley's here. Yeah, so well. Stays there at nine under. But if you're the rest of the field and you started eight shots back, seven shots back, you're thinking, all right, here we go. Scotty with an iron bones. Yeah, obviously has a real game plan here and knows the value of playing from the short grass. Hitting a high cut. Good looking shot. Yeah, position A. Took the longer of the two clubs and just three quartered it. There you go. That's what we're used to seeing last week in that altitude. He didn't know where that golf ball was waiting on a shot like that. The nuances on these greens are so new. All right, so Scotty makes his three at three, and he is back in the lead, albeit by one, not two. Scotty's got decision time now. He's C minus line this rough, 153. Does he try and knock it on the green or leave it short left and get the ball up and down? I think he's playing short. Yeah, it's at the right play. Um, third coming up at four for Scheffler. It's that down nice and low, just a soft shot. It's just a beautiful motion there. Good looking view there. It was set up. Look at his arms parallel there with the putter shaft. Didn't try to get too aggressive with that second shot. Left it short, played it to there. Scotty Scheffler's on the tee now at the fifth. Three wood in hand. It's a cut up the left edge. Just needs one bounce and it should be perfect. Yeah, this view that we just saw there really shows how much of a dog leg this hole is from right to left and that fairway all kicks to the right. In perfect position, just has to take out that left bunker. Aim a step or two right of it. That looks aggressive. Okay, we're going left of it. Yeah, he gets to sit. Scotty's so good at finding room in between flag six. You'd see him playing it outside the hole on the right side, expecting this to break. Just always looked like he was aimed too high, even from this angle that we had. Looks like he just hit it right on his line. Just maybe a bit of a misread here, which we're going to see a little bit of that this week. Guys are still getting comfortable with these green surfaces and how they break. Part five, six T, Scheffler. Just made for him right here. Cut it. You can aim at that second bunker and not reach it. Is it cutting though? Yeah, enough. Yeah, there's enough slope there to stop the ball from running through the fairway. Scotty launching it very high in the air. Oh. Josh carries on. It kind of hit that down slope. A little unlucky. 
Oh, that is going to be an unbelievable stance. How about that stance? <laughs> That's so steep there. Hard to make clean contact. It's not a penalty anymore, but you don't want to do it. And that's just going to chase. I could go off the green. Yeah. Just to his right a little bit. Not enough. Late. Norm normally that shot you play, you want to watch it run by. I don't know if he saw it. Yeah, he I, felt I'm down. sure he does that too. But he, yeah, he, as like you said, he went to the ground after that awful break. Scotty going with the big boys should be aiming a little further left here. This is up the center of the fairway. Let's see what it does relative to that second bunker. Oh, this could get way down there. This will be, so long as it hangs in there, that'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Big swing with that nine, cutting it towards the dead center of the green. Yeah, it's a safe play. You could see the grimace on his face. He wasn't exactly happy with it. I think he was just annoyed by the wind. It was a nice putt, just like Brad taught him. Scotty, for his birdie at seven. Let's see if he can get it there. He did, and he drops it in. Scotty Scheffler. You never know when he's just going to bust out and go on one of these crazy stretches, three out of four, four out of five. Scotty going with three wood. 290 to the left bunker. He's bailed out on this one. This is heading towards the gallery on the right. Gets a kick, though. Oh, he gets a nice break there, not to be in the, the Bermuda grass. So he'll be able to spin that ball, you know, with a. It's almost like it's a corner of the green, this whole location, and you don't say that very often. He's drawing this well left of the flag, not taking any chances. We've seen that conservative play on a couple of his approaches. Yeah, safe Terry. approach, there's no doubt. Remember what he did back at. And uh, now Scotty with a little bit longer putt than you'd think after a wedge. Yeah, but almost identical to the putt he made on the last hole, up and over a ridge, turning slightly from right to left. Oh, just grazed the left side with a little bit of pace. About his fantasy football team, which he's very excited to get into. <laughs> Take your mind off golf in between shots. Very little time actually spent. Let's check out the TrackMan technology with Scotty Scheffler. Eight iron from 188. That's a big eight iron, Bones. Good looking shot. Yeah. Oh! Almost jumped in on the bounce. It's hard for him to turn shots over. He's got to use some body English to do it. Bones, Scotty has a, a chance to pull away here. This should go just slightly to the right. It's fast as well. Whew, that is slick from that side. You saw his, uh, the number of his golf balls is six. It's, it's, he's one of the few guys that, that plays with the six, seven, eight. You know, most guys use a one, two, three, or a four for the right. number on their ball. I just think it's kind of interesting with Scotty. All right, back on the tee here, Scheffler. Hitting driver trying to peel one off the left edge. Just needs one bounce and should be in good shape. Yeah, that's beautiful. Shuffler, this is his second at 10. Nothing to stop this from being close. Just a little bit too far. And you see that little ridge that brings it over to the right. But that was right over the top of the flag. It looks like a putt's going to break a lot earlier than maybe straight in the hair. Well, he's looked really good from 30 feet out here today. Speed, very yeah. good. Well, to your observation there, I um, remember the year that Brooks Kepka had won two majors and Rory came in here and Everyone was talking about Brooks, and all of a sudden, after Rory wins the FedEx Cup in emphatic fashion, the vote goes in McElroy's favor. So, yeah, I mean, I, I can see a pathway to it. 221, trying to land this about 205. Trying to cut, maybe a ground cut. See how far it scoots up there. Yeah, not too bad. Yep. 
No question about it. We heard Gary Young talk about it on TV this morning, the head rules official here, about how they had to give the players just a little bit more space given the newness of the golf course. Looks like he's aiming right down that bunker and just let it cut off of that bunker. And doing just that, cutting to the very center of the fairway, it appears. It just looks like he's going to hit that shot every time. From 105 yards, just dead red Vinny Johnson here. <laughs> Instant offense he's hoping for. Micro wave. There you go. That's what you expect to see from Scheffler. Never a doubt. Scotty Scheffler, number one, started the day with a two shot lead. He's up three. This starting up the left side, but falling right should be in good shape. And yeah, that second bunker is 326 to it, but the fairway slopes the opposite way. Perfect. Coming off a birdie from just 132, he's got to be looking at this flag intently as well. Uh, yep. Got a little ground kick too there, Steve. In a position now to create some space for himself. And Shoffley already missed. Yep, never a doubt for Scotty. All of a sudden, he's at a baker's dozen under par. Boy, it's, it's a drive you want to kind of keep it down the left side if you can. Higher than average, 180. And he loves it. Oh, he should. Watch this thing run down the hill. And you can't see the fairway at all. Cutting from the left center of the green. This is a good looking oh. shot. We'll see an eagle putt if this is the right club. Oh, yeah. Oh. A whole high Scotty Scheffler again. Uh, you know, you had a lot to manage there. Downhill lie. Did he hit it? Hit it. It's an easy four. There'll be a little bit of disappointment there that he wasn't aggressive enough on that shot, but beautiful drive still to 14 under and right now up by five. Drawing it just right of the hole. OK, that's the safe play. Still no be inside of that 10 foot mark that Matthew Pavone has set. But I agree with you, Bones. Should make this. Now wow, that would have been four in a row for Scotty. Year before, shot 65. Just got had a tough fourth round, shooting a 73. So we should have something in the 60s today with all those circles we're seeing. from that bunker. It slopes a little to the right, but that's perfect. Pins on the left. Go. Go. Screaming for it to go. Yeah, pretty good. It's, it's such an uphill shot. Eight yards uphill at place. Had to go at least five or six more feet. <laughs> Very little break in it. 20% chance. I give him a better chance than that. Yeah, I think so too on these greens. If you hit it. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. He's done that a couple times now today. Straight. Hands moving on the club. It's, it's a way to get yourself to, to go and trigger your swing. Scotty taking driver down the left side. <laughs> I think he really likes this one. No, he Boy, should. that is beauty. I mean, this fairway is the hardest fairway to hit today on any par four. Got to have something inside of five or six feet here. He's almost too close. Almost short-sided. Let's see if he's pulling it off. Yeah, he won't be happy with that. For a six-shot lead. And he does. 
just cash it in. Scotty Scheffler, he's five under today. I wonder if he'll tie and take a draw here, Terry. Nice potato! This is a shot up the left side. He's anxiously watching it. Just got in the thick rough, but you can see enough of it. He'll easily be able to get up that front bunkers. Look at the strike. Yeah, you see that tee. A lot of players like to lean the tee forward. I don't know if it's a superstition or physics yet, but that tee is always a little bit forward. This is funny, Bones. This is where he is now. This is where the fairway used to be on the old course. Well, this game's screaming out of here. Yep, that's Kicks where when the mark mark. was, yeah, kind of came down yep. that hill. He's got to be careful here. You want to get this high. He actually managed to get a little spin on that ball. That's a really nicely played bunker shot from that awkward live. He wants to make this so badly. Got it there this time. Man, what a day. What a season. Building quite a career. Six under, low round, 16 under. Teed low, trying to peel a cut up the center of the fairway and doing a very nice job. Now on the first tee from La Cunada, California. Going to check out this shot with our TrackMan technology. Very solid strike, trying to hold it up against that wind. Well, just took a hard kick left. That's the firmness, the new firmness of these greens. Well, it's also the mounding and the separation. There's a little slope that works diagonally from the right front part to the back left. That. Ball needs to hustle. Well, he was one of two scrambling yesterday. The only one he failed to get up and in was here at the first where he made a bogey. He knows as he continues to strike the ball the way he has been, he's going to be in real good shape over the course of 18 holes. No, oh, it's almost unfair. Scotty feels like he opens the door for these guys and then slams it shut with putts like that. Butter forgives all. Just a beautiful roll. Saw him roll the ball so nicely yesterday, but also the reads. I mean, if you look at his performance statistically over the last three or four years, This cutting right of the hole. Mm, hangs in there, though. The only one who can putt well, this is Scotty Scheffler, our leader. Oh, my gosh. He can't add to his total already, can he? Nah, I don't think so. He was aimed up to play plenty of break. Ball came off a little left. So he is even par today through two holes, which is one better than yesterday when he bogeyed the first hole. Missed the green there as well today. Hitting a high cut up against the wind. Pretty shot. Uh, right down Broadway. He's going to get a short iron in his hand, be able to go right after that hole. So during playing three, you saw Justin Thomas miss the fairway at the eight. Now with Scotty Scheffler at three. That's nothing more than a comfortable pitching wedge for him. Coming in just to the right. Going to need a kick left. A little feet over there, but. Only a few feet, but uh, still going to have a nice look for three. It's incredible how many good looks he has each and every round for birdie. <laughs> so true. This green pitch is quite a bit from back to front, so this should go a little left. Also might go right in the dead center. <laughs> <laughs> to 17 under par. Back in the right to left wind that he loves. Aim down the middle, cut one up against it, but this is going further left than he wants. Boy, but it carries the bunker and appears to be in great shape. Well, you know what? Fluid Terry, kick you know, facts. Terry, yesterday in the field, he was second in driving distance. You know, he's he's got like decent speed. And you got to think he can be really aggressive here from 129. And he is going after this flag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Bones, how about this one for Scotty at four? Yeah, Scotty's staying with his theme from yesterday. Granted, he'd like to be closer, but leaving himself uphill putts. This should move a little to his left. Don't you think you got to give a lot of credit to Ted Scott as that one just slides by the side and how much preparation Ted does and getting him a strategy on how to play every single hole. Stress free here too when he misses just to tap in to save the par. On the tee with Scheffler at the fifth now coming off a of par. See if he's going to try and bend this around that turn just a bit to try and get it to hold the ferry with slopes left to right. Oh beautiful. See that ball working a little bit to the right. That crisp sound we're used to hearing from Scotty, but he's bailed on this one. It's cutting right of the flag. Another green in regulation. I was really having a good week with the putter. Positive in the strokes gain category. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. I, was gonna say. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't have been surprised if that went down. His average on tour you see right there. This on this line, this needs to get down just a soft first bounce. And he gets just that. And that's kind of the steeper part, or one of the steeper parts of the slope of this course, right into the upslope. Trying to get it anywhere on the surface and have the ball stop for him. Yeah, I don't think you want to take this flag on, and that one's trucking here. It's going to go over the back, and that'll go away there, back down the hill. Which he cannot see. He might have a sense of it. Doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't think this is anything he's worried about. Looked better from that angle than the other angle. It to be really with you. did. The bunker wasn't in his way. He could take an aggressive little chip shot at it. You just don't tip your hat enough to him for his short game. That pitch he played from long right was exquisite. So and another one just like that. So right. was that four. This hole played very easy for the players today. 16 birdies. Hit this very hard. It's on a good line. He just got to stay out of that second bunker with the first bounce. And he did a little pirouette, too, with that swing. Did not leave anything in the bag on that one. No, he made a rip at that one. Left of the flag. Looking for it to spin off a ridge. I don't think he'll be that fired up about that effort. Yeah, it was pretty marginal there for that short a club in his hand. Scheffler looking for two in a row here. Another one online. He's really picking up on these breaks nicely. This on a similar line to Collins, just a little bit right, I think, of where he wants it. Oh, that pitch it right into the bank. They're right next to each other. As Scotty now out of an A plus rake job, this ball should run out a good 15 to 20 feet when it lands. Oh, nice shot. What's an A plus rake job, Terry? For the day and for this nine holes, and he shot 31 on the back yesterday, five under. I mean, he started at 10 under. Yep. And, and through the eighth hole day two, he's got it to 19 under par. Just trying to cut just a little left of it. It's a good looking shot. It takes yes. a hard bounce on that firm green note. They just look, uh, you know, fives and fours coming into new greens. A lot of firmness. Just let's see how hard it is to get that thing to stop and uses that back slope to sort of come back toward the hole so all in all not a bad outcome last chance for birdie at nine sends it out to the right looks good for my angle fellas <laughs> oh that close now prior to today there were five holes only five holes on the PGA Tour that did not yield a birdie or better 
in a single round all season. Now it's a small sample size of 30 players, not 144, 156, but still proves the difficulty of nine. I think his footwork can tell you how hard he's swinging. The more they move, the harder he's swinging. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Just pound it down the right side. And that was a lower shot, only 106 feet. Also an aggressive play. And does stop as well. He was asking that to go a little bit. Seeming just outside the right edge here. Keep the speed up. Every time there's an opening, there isn't. Well, Shoffley and Murakawa, they're racing to see who can get the better score to play with this man tomorrow. And Jens, he is drawing it right at the flag. Very aggressive play. Just a little deep. That Let's might stay. run off. There's a little bit of a slope that works away from the green, and it caught it. Yep. That's where Adam Scott used the putter to get up and down. So we'll see what Scotty chooses to play that shot with. That's just so well judged. That's just so well judged. And he will make his three. That putter in his hands this week is such has been such a weapon. His speed control has been remarkable. Sending it up the left side. Flirting with that bunker. Just flirting, nothing more. Oh, this is just prime condition here. Just short of this bunker 103. He's thinking make his. Yeah, Hoop City win his bet with Teddy. Think they have a hole out bet. Yeah, Didn't keep quite. it short of the hole, which is what he's been doing all week. And not be able to celebrate wins. I know you and I definitely would like to do that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been watching Scotty this week. He sure seems more comfortable on the Bermuda grass on the greens than he does when we go to Ben or on the West Coast. Last week he looked like he struggled on that bent po and a mix, and this week he looks like he's got a lot more attention to the hole when it's getting close to it. Yeah, these greens are perfect. Very odd. Colin Morikawa's putt went to the right on the opposite side. Yeah. Try to just cut something off these left bunkers. New hole, no bunker up the right. Perfect balance as usual from Scotty. I need to start trying that at home. <laughs> All right, sit down now. Out of the fairway bunker? Yep. Oh, this came man. out very oh, well. Oh, and light. Oh, this guy's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this nasty plug life from Scotty Sheffer just playing sideways, playing for a bogey at this point. Can even hit the green. Whoa, what a, that went left. That was one of the coolest shots I've ever seen. You saw how far right he aimed and just closed that face down at the bottom. It popped out to the left. Oh, it just wiggled a little right and tried to come back left. Yeah, it did. It was, it was one of those that he wanted to fall left at the end, which it did, but it wiggled right in the middle, so it never could take the left in time. He's going to tap this in and... Drop one to 19 under, which just now a five shot lead. And Xander Shoffley has a birdie opportunity to get it a little tighter. Needs to find the fairway here with Colin in good shape. This up the left side as he looks at it. Yeah, most of the time when you have two or three feet of curve, for the most part, it should find the fairway unless you're just bad at aiming. You know how hard it is to make oh, a ball wow. go with four feet of curve at 180 miles an hour? Just didn't uh, aim quite as good there. That ball doesn't look like it's sitting too good either. I think he's just going to try to fly just over that bunker and get it to chase up on, off the zoysia grass. I think you're exactly right, and this is tumbling. It's on a line with the flag. Uh, it's this... a little left. That's a good leave, I think, all in all. Well, with his short game, definitely going to be able to do something from that lie. Very close to having a, a very short eagle putt. Okay, Scotty Sheffer taking the putter left here at the 14th hole. Up this slope. 
Let's see if he judges it right. Way past. Justin, you were down there all day. Maybe you should have taken the putter so you didn't wrap the ball around the flag so it can bring it back to your feet. <laughs> Sure. Get playing you before, and I asked why you're putting it from everywhere, and you said, well, why, wouldn't you want to use the best club in your bag, too? <laughs> exactly. So uh, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> that rolls pass. He's going to make a par. It's going to be a frustrating par. It's all right. Scotty tied a good player on that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it really is a hole. It's, it's so visually very hard to get to commit to a line. And, I mean, we have these picture books as yardage books, and it's still hard to commit to it. We do have some wind coming back in. Look mm -hmm. at the difference in the water We're moving back at them. Little gust right there that we just felt. That's Scotty Scheffler esque right there. That's just an absolutely perfect leave underneath the hole and uh, pretty much what, what you want in that situation. What do you think? It's been rolling and nice. Low. How many times does he look at Ted Scott after a missed putt? Yeah, it's just, I guess when you have birdie putts every, you know, pretty much every single hole from that distance at some point, you got to. Right, right, right. This bunker's right. You got to carry it over 295 yards. It wasn't four right for Sheffield. No, <laughs> that's a different <laughs> tee shot. Settles right there in the fairway. And he did. Will it stay? Yeah, below the hole. <laughs> the weight, the break, suspension of play, doesn't matter. And I love this. He's feeling it with the driver today. He's staying aggressive and swinging for the fences, Bones. He certainly is. The ball shouldn't be flying nearly as far with the temperatures we have going on here at the moment, but that appeared to be a good shot. Ludwig Oberg, 349, the longest drive. Yeah, I think they would have taken a really long look at the devices on the range this, at this evening as they warmed up to see just exactly how far or how little the ball's going as compared to an hour ago. I mean, you're right, that was a well-managed carry there. out back to back birdies so it looks like he'll remain at 20 under beautifully shaped three wood there right to left you see Morikawa's ball how about this yesterday the field hit this fairway 37 percent of the time over 50 percent today a real rip at it. It's on a very good line in terms of where the flag is. It's right at the flag. Yeah. Even that didn't run up Terry. Comes back, settles in. They're both there in front of the green. The only two on the golf course. Last group. He's got that little move, Terry. When he takes it back, the club, it goes outside. It causes the, you know, his, he Cuts across a little bit, like you said on 18. So many more guys hit the fairway because they hit three wood off the tee, and both of these guys hitting the fairway on 18. Both of them making pretty routine birdies. And one to finish up for number one, coming in 21 under par. Ting it down, hit a low cut. This is up the right edge here. Well, that little bit of rough there juts out. He's got a clean lie off. 200 front edge, very good lie considering. Would not surprise me at all if he's intentionally playing just short of the green here. Yeah, right, Bones. He did that on the 18th hole to finish after the delay yesterday. He didn't even try to get it on the green 18. He knows how good his hands are. Strategic second from Scotty Scheffler, now his third at one. That's a good word, strategic. He's content knowing he didn't have to be all the way up there. He had a lot of safety in leaving this short of the green. And that first bounce went a little bit harder than he thought. It's easy to spin and control your flight off. 
No question. I think it's uh, without question, Scotty's third shot did not check up the way he expected to do, much like it did on Thursday. He made a big par save yesterday to start his round and got him going maybe a little bit longer than that one. He and Xander Shoffley who started two shots off the lead and of course starting stroke Scheffler started at 10 under. You know I like what Scheffler said too. He said just because I started with the two round lead I can't just play defensively. He goes we got 72 holes. Of just a smooth six iron this left of the flag as we look at it. Landed at short enough bones that he's going to be OK. It's going to feed back down to the collection area, but all in all better than Colin, in my opinion. Face is that bones talked about it's going to be hard to get his speed right, but his speed's been really, really good with the flat stick all week. And he's going to have some work left coming back. This is as I said bones. This is a big putt for momentum early in the round. Got all the hole, but it went down. <laughs> like Scheffler, he's perfect, by the way, inside eight feet so far this week. A little bobbly to the right. He said downhill. It's downhill like 39 feet, so it really goes downhill towards East Lake. Opening holes parallel each other. There you can see one and two on the left. There's three where it landed, four to his left, our right. A little more shape to the holes, though, with this restoration. Yeah. Dog legs Two. built. Or hit it 273, 135 left. His second on the way. Cap wedge, you would expect him to be very aggressive here, but this is to the left. The ball was above his feet. And a very, very inconsistent wind out here at the moment. Yes, we'll get more confirmation with him afterwards. It, it, it's a moot point right now, so we can just go through and meet him in scoring, talk to him, look at the video, and, and figure it all out at that point. So we're going to go with what he says right now, and if he feels strongly that he did. Otherwise, if he's maybe it was more in question, then he needs to have some more conversation with us on that. Been pounding the T ball all week. Look at that curve. I mean, zero curve it appears on that shot, Tracer. I'm way up there. Yeah, if you had to say it, you'd say there's even more confidence at this tour championship right now for Scotty Shepton than we've seen even all season. Going for the draw bones, which yeah, is rare out of him. Exactly. Left of the flag also. Yeah. Just drifts off, but not a bad position at all for Scheffler, who's hole high at the fourth. Can that roll through that first piece of grass is so true because of what we talked about with his Zoja. So that was very makeable indeed. And this is just peeling off that left fairway bunker. The question is, is it enough? Feet were kind of stable for him. <laughs> what happened? Was that really Scotty? Yeah. Check out the ball flight, Trackman technology. This is much lower here, looking to take the wind out of play. That's a great decision, great shot, but even away. with that, yeah. Brad. Yeah, that's beautiful. He can fight the wind a little bit better, the left to right wind better than Murakawa had. Much more, and he had it. This first seven holes is a crosswind going up and back the whole way. Play right to left on one, then left to right on the nut. Next. This needs a soft bounce. It gets it, Bones. He's got it. Scheffler leading by three in his second shot here at the sixth. Se second shot on the way here. Just laying it up there in front. Drive it back there, use the firmness of the greens to his advantage and get it to spin. So it'll come from there. That right where he wanted it. Continuing to play aggressively, looking to take driver, driver large here. Going to play left at the second bunker. Bones, I can't believe how well he's driven it here. 
He's been amazing on this hole thus far. He loves this one. How he misses both these bunkers right over the first one. Gives you a little extra on this hole, doesn't he? He does. I mean, you talked about flat feet back there. Not this time. Uh, not on this hole. <laughs> That's outstanding. Good looking shot for line. This is a yardage that Scotty Scheffler excels at, Terry. From this yardage, he's. Did he hit it? Did he hit it? Yes, but we had to wait. Oh, wow. He did it on Thursday. He didn't quite do it yesterday. That, that's real speed, not slow mo. Yeah, these greens are beautiful right there. Now slow mo. Oh. For Scheffler. Hitting that three iron, starting it up the right center, throwing back. And he likes this one a lot, going for the tee early. By the way, he was the 2013 U.S. Junior Amateur Champion. Look how good this setup looks right here. He's just taking dead aim right at that back left hole location. Just a smooth gap from 135, looking good. Oh man, looking really good. That to get to 22 under. She gets so comfortable being up there, and that's why you win so often. You're just right around the lead all the time. All right, so they exchange a couple birdies. We mentioned last week, the off week, that tie for 33rd. It was the second worst finish of the year for Scheffler. Yeah, you can afford to cut this one a little bit. Rips an eight iron up into the air. Oh, that's well short, too, like Shoffley. Can't remember when this long Scotty's putt from off the green. Look how smoothly it rolled through there. This must be enough elevation, Terry, where to land it on the green, you really have to be spinning it. Good mantra. Beautiful. Be the ball, fast. <laughs> We've heard that before. This up the left edge, flirting with the rough. Full pin, full spin pirouette there for Scheffler. And that one finds a rough sitting up a little bit. What about this one, Bones? Caught a break here. This is a B plus lie in the rough, and he's got an angle with 71 yards front edge to have this ball released towards the hole. Looking straight up after contact, just did, wasn't able to cover the front there. Back at 10, Scheffler putting through the Prism Zoysia again. No one's chipping these balls from that Prism Zoysia. Just flushed it dead center. Two really good par saves back to back there. Looks really steady over, really stable. Not much moving other than the putter. This is hung out to the right. He's yelling at it to go. Maybe a miss hit. He's got a huge first bounce right back to the middle of the green. These part threes have been tough, Terry. The height change up a little bit. See if he learned anything. Morikawa is well short. Yeah, I don't think this will be well short. Boy, all the way across the hole as his speed was dying. That's an excellent putt. Colin had to move his coin out of the way. Tap in par for Scheffler. Put yourself in position for a chance to strike again. Yeah. Really good looking shot from Scotty. I mean, the freewheeling motion, we've talked about it for a couple years now extensively, guys. Scheffler, our leader, second shot. Bones down there at 12. 125 going with gap wedge. Look for this one to be just a little bit right of it. Perfect call as usual, perfect distance as usual. And because he's much closer to the pin high, this is not as much downhill as Morikawa's was, so much more makeable. Yeah, he leaves it way out there, a little too far, just a little too far. Mm. 
scratch of the playoff beard. I thought you early called it, Dan. That was really starting to turn. So brutal when that ball ends up dead behind the center of the hole from where you putted from, only a couple inches away. Went right to the back of the hole without ever touching the lip. Made bogey on this hole yesterday after driving it left. He hammers one up the right side today, looking Fine. anxiously after it. It's not kind. Gosh, that's not kind. Just in that right rough from 119 Scheffler. I expect it's going to stay a little bit left. Oh. Not really want to go at this one with that oh. bunker right in front of it. Some more. Back up the hill, obviously got a good idea of what it was going to do as the ball went past the hole. Just outside of three feet. Confidently done there. I'm taking the over on 176. You're right. This up the right side. He's concerned about it. Just dips into the rough and hides. That thing just nestled. Short iron in hand. Just a layup here, Bones. Yeah, this tumbles out of here. It just needs to land softly for him so it doesn't run through the fairway to the left. And that is very, very well controlled there. He's got a good chance now to still make four. Yep. 80 yards left for the leader of the Tour Championship at 14. Teddy told him with his wedge game, let's just lay it up. Going right at it, just a little short, marginal shot. Barely go right at the end. Oh man, does that look good? Yeah, this guy's got some kind of resolve when he gets a little ticked off. <laughs> you sense that a little bit, Bones? Both of them. This well to the left here, very conservative play. Right at that area where the bunker used to be. Hey. Traveled, that. traveled a little more than he thought initially, I yeah. think. All right. So the lead is four as they head to 16. So play is done here at the par 315. When he really got into it. Awesome. Hitting a draw up the left side, but now starting to peel. The draw fade, we call that the drain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the drain just uh, found the bunker. Looking to just drive something here and have it release. I think he can get a wedge all the way back there to the hole. Boy, it's on a good line. Let's see how deep it gets. Pulls off on a cliff over there on the right side, but those are two fine shots. Well, Bones, you called it. It's easy to do with yep. this guy. Yep, that was absolutely poured in. Hitting a cut right up the line yesterday. This could flirt with the rough on the right. Yeah, it disappears behind that tree. Could be just a touch above his feet. Playing just left of the flag. Big pull. Huge. <laughs> yep, you've got the two best right there. First part of the equation correct. Wow. What a break off the tee, taking advantage of it. Dead straight ball up the left center. The Scheffler shuffle to the left. The ball headed left. It's way down there. And it's way down there. You had to settle before the rough. Whoa. 
Only one player has hit the green in two today at 18. That was Adam Scott. Very high. Looks like it should come up short of the bunkers, I believe. Yep. Well short of the bunkers. Help lift that ball up there, put some spin on it. Wow, was that nice. That'll be for three in a row, four in the last five. There it is. Another birdie for good measure for Scheffler to say, all right, Colin, we'll see you again tomorrow. And we'll see if you can hang with me. Bring your A game. Scotty again, ting it down, trying to hit a low fade, and this appears to be right up the middle. This is out to the right a little bit, as you predicted. Wow. But maybe a groove low. By the hole, very easy to leave this short. Yeah, that's nice. First shot of the day, hole high. Opens with a par, picks up a shot. That's where they're trying to hit it. Great contact. Terrific line right at the center of the green. There you go. That is Scotty Shuffler-esque. Just in a great spot. He looks to be as incompetent as I've ever seen in his warm-up today was just perfection. And that warm-up bones is translated into a great start. Flatting it down a little bit. High cut into the left center of the ferry. Needs a soft first bounce. Beautiful. Right down the left side, got a lot of roll. Just been automatic for almost the entire season. Ball just above his feet, so easier to draw. Drawing it is on an aggressive line, but smartly under the hole. Yeah, it's still way too early just to play safe. And probably just at his coin. Yep, right at his coin. Another good looking putt. Started to. Yep. Three twelve over the left bunker. This is on a line with that. Let's see if it clears it with the helping wind. No problem, Bones. He smashed it again. Some of the longest drives on the more conventional fairway bones. Just a wedge from 149. He would have noticed on our early coverage that this green is very firm. Sports and just being becoming an athlete when he putts has really helped his game tremendously. This carrying plenty of speed. But I thought it might have a wreck with a hole there. Now he's got a little bit left coming back, but. So it's a one shot swing Morikawa's way with his birdie. Taking it up the left side needs it to peel a little right and stay short of the sand hopefully. And yeah, did not get the kick you can see the golf ball though. Looking to land something about 142 right at our television tower. I think he has to stay right of that bunker. No chance to hold. Yeah, and you know, I think he knows that maybe this back bunker is a little bit easier. Sunday in the finale, Terry. Three of four so far for Scheffler from the bunkers up and down. That well, might not stay on. Mm. 
just lacked a fraction there. What a good effort again from Scotty. And I, I like what Kid said. He's keyed in on the greens. You know, can Colin Marikawa just peck away? You know. Yeah. Just lacked a fraction there. What a good effort again from Scotty. And I, I like what Kid said. He's keyed in on the greens. You know, can Colin Marikawa just peck away? You know? Yeah. At the left fairway bunker, should be a perfect fit for a high cut. Oh, this is smoked right up the right center. Good looking tee shot. Oh man, how many times have we seen that this week? Side by side out yeah. there. Colin had to smoke his to keep it right there with Scotty as well. Take some pace off it. This is actually flighted down but pulled. And it's worth noting that this twosome was asked by the PJ Tour staff to pick up the pace. This should be a very ordinary up and down here from the bunker. Just let it run out. How good is that? Sunning Dell and a spirited good competition that unfolded today across the pond. Just a little tap in here for Scheffler. This is a pull draw here. Dangerously left. Hands off the club. Quick bones back there and it's out of bounds over there towards the left. And that Marshall going to take a look. It looks like it ricocheted back. I can't tell from what is there, but we will have to take a peek down there what that hand signal is. But way left for Scheffler here. You could whiff this shot if your hands hit the branches before the glove it gets to the ball. Yeah, it looks like he's going to really get clean contact. Yep. Boy, talk Beauty. about hitting it quickly. He, did, he didn't spend much time, did he? No, no he did not. Safely out to the fairway. Yeah, that looked like an arbor vitae tree to me. We had a lot of those at our club back in Rhode Island. 106, you got to be careful not to one hop something long to this back right flag. Scotty playing very quickly. Oh, man. Just showing off now. Lucky to get it back to the fairway. And he's been playing these pretty quickly as well. Oh, you saw that graphic a moment ago, too. First miss. This is well out to the right. Yep, not messing with that water. And it comes back down. So. Uh oh, shanked it. Unbelievable. And. He's got an incredibly difficult shot now, guys, but of course he's got to shake off what just happened. Just flew onto the green. Well short of where he needed it. So he's got that for par. Have been one of the more amazing pars. Things just got incredibly more interesting. Once a seven shot lead is now down to two. Very good sound here. Very aggressive play. Let's see if it carries to the green. Does. What Excellent. a response. I'd love to know what Ted Scott just said to Scotty Scheffler. Wow. Turn it back on. Time to do that. Playing his patented cut up in the air. I don't know if there's a way to portray to the people at home how good that golf shot was nope. after what went down on number eight. Just carried the front yesterday. He didn't reach the green. Scheffler couldn't have come at a more perfect time taking the turn here Scheffler though with one of the more impressive comebacks with that birdie at the ninth off the tee at this par for 10th looking at it concerned bones.
And it does oh. fall just off the fairway. I was fortunate it caught that tree. Yeah. Great break off the tee. This ball should, was destined for the left rough, but hit a tree and got down to this point. Now 117 from a clean line to a front left hole location. All over it, Bones. All over it. That's how you respond from adversity. And another birdie for Shuffler. Just a very comfortable seven iron cutting into the dead center of the green. Yep. Another chance, and he's buried the two par threes that he's played to this point today. Three in a row. So impressive. Just caught the left edge. No emotion there. No fist pump. And get to the left uh, fairway bunker. This is just hammered a beautiful shot up the left center of the fairway. Yep. I expect a really good shot here. He's told him to go right at it and aggressive yardage, and it looks like it's going right at it. Right over the stick. It's just amazing his distance control that he, at this point in the tournament, late on Sunday, he's still going after back flags. This fairway right yesterday and left on Friday. This is blistered down the center of the fairway. Yeah, you heard Moragawa say beautiful right at impact. Look at that. Great swing, bro. Back to 13. Scotty just about ready. Get the hole! Oh. That's a big push for Scotty Sheffield. I mean, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, sometimes a little bit of pressure applied there by Murakawa. A little bit of a misread, I think. That was a tough one. Remember where Thagala was. Taking it down the left side, peeling back now. This looks good. Just that long, soft draw. And Scheffler gets a little bit of a roll out here. Wind's picking up. You can see some of the leaves out on the fairway. Get it! This is just a little left of that TV tower. Got to land softly. Oh, it does. And Shuffler is going to have a very good eagle look. Hello. Why not? Got us a fist pump out of Scotty there. He knows how big that was with four to go. Like slam the door if he can keep it out of the water off the next. Eagle at the 14th, the only one today. Scotty Shuffler. No, he's going right at it. <laughs> Just checks. Yeah, that's fooled him a little bit, too. Although this barely found that edge. I mean, it just landed on the fringe. A lot where Mats right where Matsuyama was putting from. Kind of surprised him a little bit. The air's definitely, they're not yeah. feeling it on the tee. No question. That didn't break till after the hole. He knew it was going to go a little bit to the right. Left edge and in. Yep. Yeah, I think we've seen more emotionally from him, frustration from him the last couple of weeks when things didn't go his way. Smashing it right off of that bunker. 
doing the same here, guys, peeling it off that left bunker, and he loves it. The consistency in that swing, which has a lot going on. We talked about it yesterday. All strike. I mean, the middle of the club face, kids, is what you guys all aspire to. Scheffler now, who's five under in his last seven holes. Wedge from 148 adjusted. Just a little left of it. All he needs from here on in, Kiz. It's just so impressive, his, his distance control. And I would imagine when he gets to 18 and puts this away, this would be incredibly satisfying. Just ripped up the center of the fairway. The wind should knock it down a little bit and be perfect. Terry, that's the shot he hit off the first hole. You know, he, he hit it down low. We know he can't hit a hook that way. It's just going to be a low missile. Taking the under. Me too. <laughs> that's why we don't gamble, that's Terry. <laughs> <They're> sure. <bad. laughs> And Scheffler to get it to 31 under. Even though he doesn't need this putt, you get the feeling he just wants to keep hammering it down. He's played some really good golf this week. Doesn't matter if he needs it or not, you know he's focused on it. Absolutely. It's almost like the, the situation is irrelevant. Also looking for the power fade that he's just been smushing all week. And Dan, remember, he hit driver here yesterday. It was the longest drive of the day. He certainly doesn't need it at all. Needs to sit down a little bit. Just creeps into the rough. Came into the day with a five-shot lead. Now a little layup here, Bones. A gap wedge, very poor lie. Awkward layup, too, going across that water, but not wanting to hit it too far. It's done really, perfectly. Yeah, really well done there. Way he's hit his wedges, I wouldn't expect this to be any different than the rest of them. Playing well away from the hole. Take a breath, Scotty. You're on in three with a four shot lead. Speed has been impeccable all week, and it continues here at the last. One of the all-time seasons for Scotty Scheffler. Takes it all. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.